I think one of the the takeaways that felt the most like fresh and timely and urgent is, you know, we highlighted several concepts. There's Kyle Chica talked about algorithmic anxiety, some of the like emotional burdens that we feel creating work online. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the takeaways and focus of the book are really not, it's not like a quantitative report. It's like, how does it feel Mm. to be a creative person online? And where do we go from here? I think one of the like technical drawbacks of the the current kind of creator economy and platform landscape was this idea of platform risk, mm. which we interviewed Matt Dryhurst about. That feels like a very interesting takeaway to me from that of thinking about that as like a more serious challenge of you know putting work onto platforms that could just disappear yes. or that could change ownership. Mm-hmm or that could just change policy, that could be mismanaged, that could, you know, what happens to our work? You know, we kind of like trust the platforms will be around, but we see now that like, you know, content on Vine doesn't exist anymore. Right. Over a decade of music on MySpace was just erased. It's gone. And, you know, if you're on Twitter, you probably like have been thinking this could be gone at any second. So I f- it, it does feel like, a question of thinking about how can we be resilient against this platform risk, right? Especially for content that is digital native, like maybe without any analog counterpart. So it feels like this kind of precarious, fragile thing that we often don't consider. I think like our view of maybe one of the key use cases for anything crypto related is actually just putting media on chain. Mm. Is having archiving, preserving media, putting it on this kind of public distributed computer may not be the full solution, but I think does help protect media in some sense from from platform risk. 